突然ですが I know it's sudden, but here's a question. When we think about Tokyo now, most people think about how it's orderly and clean. But would you believe it if that wasn't always the case? Tokyo back in the 60s looked like this. Man, what a dumpster. So, what is the one event that changed all this? Any guesses? Not to sound like those Facebook posts, but you're not gonna believe the answer. Intro. Hello world, this is Team from Japan! How are you doing today? So I'm wearing my sports outfit, so either I'm going to talk about the Olympics or I'm trying to become a Japanese comedian! Yeah, I'm too posh for that crap. So I'll be talking about the Olympics, but hey, girls seem to like him. Hmm. No. I want to talk about the Olympics, when everyone pretends to care about sports every four years. I'll be talking about the Japanese reactions to it, the real reason why Japan hasn't cancelled it, and just how pure evil the IOC members are. Where's James Bond taking these crooks out when we need him? Come on Britain, step up your game man! So let's go back in time. Eight years ago, Tokyo was announced to host the 2020 Olympics game. Kriso Takigawa, a popular news presenter, made this passionate speech for Japan hosting the game. Omotenashi. Omotenashi, Japanese hospitality of treating the guests well, became a buzzword. And as you know, Tokyo was selected to host the 2020 game. Tokyo! Yeah! And look at how happy this crowd is. Jesus, calm down! Our then Prime Minister Abe even cosplayed as Mario to announce the Olympics. If an adult that old is willing to reference video games, you know they mean business. The Olympics can mean a big deal to Japan. Because the last time we hosted a Summer Olympics, it was in 1964, and that game was seen as an important symbol for Japan's rehabilitation and rebuilding process after World War II. It's seen as an event that ushered Japan into the modern society. So one example is that in the 1950s and 60s Tokyo, roads were really poorly built, and they were prone to traffic jams, so before the Olympics started and the athletes came, the Japanese government decided to implement a large-scale road construction project that freed the Tokyo residents from the nightmare that was the traffic jam. And after the construction finished, people were so happy that there were no more traffic jams, so people started speeding up and there were cases after cases of traffic accidents. Another notable change is that back in the day, people in Tokyo used to throw their trash everywhere. However, if Japan was to welcome guests from overseas, people didn't want Tokyo to remain trashy. People didn't want foreigners seeing how dirty Tokyo was. So before 1964 came, the government held a Tokyo-wide city beautification movement, urging their people to clean the city. And they even said that Cleaning your city is an Olympic event. One thing that people always comment on when they visit Japan is that although there are no trash cans on the streets, you would never see any trash on the streets. So the city beautification movement of the 60s completely changed people's minds that still continue to this date. And the Tokyo 2020 game was to be symbolic as well. It was supposed to symbolize revival of Japan because we went through economic stagnation, major tsunami, and the nuclear disaster of Fukushima. Then 2020 came and you know what happened? Corona time happened. I personally do believe that the IOC, the International Olympics Committee, tried to hold the Olympics in 2020 despite countries like Canada and Australia withdrawing their athletes and the rest of the world panic buying and binge watching the Tiger King. 
But Trump in March 2020 said that he supports Tokyo postponing the Olympics. President Trump has suggested delaying the Tokyo 2020 Olympics for a year as the coronavirus outbreak continues to spread around the globe. You know, I, I like that better than I like having empty stadiums all over the place. I think if you cancel it, make it a year later, that's a better alternative. And although the IOC is the one that makes the final decision, the U.S. does have a lot of influence toward IOC and the Olympics were postponed to 2021. We should have made toilet paper hoarding a sports. Look at these women going at it. The IOC, as you're gonna find out, is bloody evil. But an ad for the postponed game they put out was really effective. And they marketed the 2021 game as a game that would signal humanity's victory over coronavirus. And they even used the athlete Rikako Ike. I'll explain her significance later. Well, did we overcome coronavirus? India's hospitals have never seen anything like this as COVID tightens its grip. A record 2,600 deaths in the past 24 hours. So obviously, we the Japanese should cancel the game, right? Japan has issued a state of emergency that will last at least the end of May in several cities and only 2% of Japan's 126 million population has been fully vaccinated. Situation in Osaka, one of the major cities, is so dire that only 10% of the new infected patients can get hospitalized. But apparently, we can't just cancel the Olympics because the IOC is pure evil. You see, when a country agrees to hold the Olympics, they sign a contract with the IOC and only the IOC can terminate this contract. If Japan cancels a game without the IOC agreeing to it, the Japanese government would have to cover the losses. Unless, of course, there's a justifiable reason to cancel, such as war, and I would say pandemic is a pretty justifiable reason, right? But <laughs> to the Von Ripperoff, aka IOC President Thomas Bach and his cronies, a global pandemic is not a justifiable reason. And no sane Japanese person wants the Olympics now. Most polls would show that somewhere between 50 to 70% of the Japanese public want the games cancelled or postponed. オリンピックする意味があるのかなとは思います。渋谷にあるこちらの飲食店ではこの年に入っておよそ1ヶ月程度しか営業ができていません。感染者を広げないようにこういう苦しい中でも休業に従ってったんですけど、そういう発言がある
What? <sighs> I'm so upset. I stuttered. Do you have any idea how many once in a lifetime events kids had to forego last year? This is what a Japanese kid said. The Olympics happen every four years. Two years if you count the one where people with OCD scrap the floors at sports. But yes, I'll think of the children. Hey kids, this is what a human excrement looks like. If you see a person who looks as evil as him, do not trust him. There was one time this year in which the media was somewhat excited over the Olympics. In April, Rikako Ikee won four swimming titles for the first time after being diagnosed with leukemia two years ago. She couldn't do any sports for a year, so she was away from the pool for a year, and it is unthinkable for someone with that much obstacle to win four titles and qualify for the game. Hideki Matsuyama, a professional golfer, also made history in April for being the first ever Japanese professional golfer to win a men's major golf championship. I'm a bit surprised about this. I thought Japanese people play golf a lot and this is the first championship that we win. Let's see. Golf. Anecdotes. Eisenhower and fashion, humor, Japanese obsession with. Ah, here it is. These two achievements really highlighted the power of sports and how one can achieve your dream after years of working hard. <laughs> what do other people think? What are the Japanese celebrities saying on the TV? The mentalist Daigo and professional troll Hiroyuki, who created 2chan, which is, well, as toxic like 4chan, said, オリンピックをやらないという決断ができる人も日本の決定権を持ってる人いないという問題があるので、その修学首相があの<笑><笑><笑> I can't believe he went there. But I think a lot of Japanese people are thinking of something similar, but don't say it out loud. For example, a former politician, Mayuko Toyota, thinks that if a Japanese politician said that they want to cancel the Olympics, the Olympics game will probably never happen in Japan again. And no politician in Japan wants to be the one that made that happen. The IOC can make money as long as they can show the games. There have been Olympics games in the past where there were boycotts and less countries participated, such as Moscow, Montreal and LA Games, yet the IOC still made money from showing those games and they are just waiting for Japan to give them excuse to blame it all onto Japan. やらないって言ったよね。言ったよね。ってなっちゃうんですよ。全部の責任が日本だってことになって。そんな中でも誰がこのある政治家が。いるわけないじゃないですか。こんななってませんわ。1年4ヶ月経って。I think Japanese people do have difficult times quitting things once they started, but the best course of action is to quit while you can. I believe that if this was happening to other countries, so if other countries were hosting the 2020 Olympics, they would have already told Thomas Bach to eat my shorts. All right, I'll eat, <laughs> eat your shorts. Thanks, Bart. Our Prime Minister Suga is saying that the IOC has the authority in canceling the game. IOC has the authority in canceling the game. But the mayor from Chiba implied that Suga is not reluctant to hold it. Maybe it's just me, but I kind of get the feeling that he's not good at keeping secrets. That being said, even the athletes think it's BS. Naomi Osaka said, But I think that there's so much important stuff going on. I feel like if it's putting people at risk and if it's making people very uncomfortable, then it definitely should be a discussion, which I think it is. I love how Naomi spent most of her time outside of Japan, but she's still super Japanese 
in the sense that she doesn't say things directly. So are there any opinions that are for hosting the Olympics? Different sports competitions around the world has also used the bubble system, where athletes and other relevant parties are shut off from the rest of the world. However, if the bubble system is going to be super effective, why isn't the IOC stressing the safety measures? Instead, they are saying things like, think of the children. Thomas Bach even cancelled coming to Japan in May because he thought it was too risky. But it's okay for the Japanese people to suffer to make these guys even richer? And we're talking about 15,000 athletes and at least 90,000 other members coming to Japan. And this is after the Japanese government negotiated with the IOC to reduce the number of people coming in. These people won't be quarantined and they are not obliged to get vaccinated. And do you seriously think that all 105,000 people would obey orders and stay in the bubble? Whether the Olympics will go ahead or not, one thing for sure, it will have a great negative impact onto the Japanese economy that the Japanese people will have to pay for a decade to come. We have no idea if this is going to be a super spreader event. It is ridiculous that a sporting organization is forcing a country to host the biggest sporting events when there are mutations happening all over the world. I guess one good thing is that the world got to see how evil the IOC is. They seriously do not care about the lives of people as long as they can make money. So what do I think? I think if the IOC is worried about broadcasting rights, we should give the disgusting vultures something they could show to the world, but with less people coming to Japan. I propose only having up to three athletes per country coming to Japan. Then, instead of having a proper sports for highbrow people, we can have Japanese game show contests with athletes all over the world. Hey, we already have Sasuke Ninja Warrior sets. We can see which athletes can actually complete those courses. And be honest, man, you guys love weird Japanese crap. That's why countries around the world are still showing 80s Japanese game shows. You guys gobble up weird Japanese crap, like Asian girls doing Instagram gobble up bubble tea. And because it's a Japanese game show, there will be that one obligatory busty chick in bikini as one of the contestants and we'll get feminists around the world complaining about it. I can already see that happening. You made it to the end of the video. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button and I'll start crying from happiness like this guy. I mean it, man. So I'm gonna get ready to cry, right? All right, here you go. I can't do it. I'm trying to become a Japanese comedian. I'm laughing at my own joke for me. I'm laughing too much. Oh my god. I can do this, man. Okay. Straight face. Super straight. Omotenashi.